What's up guys, Redbird Auto here. Um, I got another sweet project that I am uh, checking out today. Uh, this is my brother's 1996 Chevy Silverado. Actually, don't call them a Silverado, do they? are they? Well, technically C1500. Yeah. <laughs> so it's his 1996, yeah, C1500. This is originally our grandfather's truck that uh, was uh, bestowed upon him for a little fee and it's in actually really really good shape for for these trucks anyway because every time you see these trucks they are rusted to shit especially right here and in, in, in there and this truck isn't perfect it's got some you're having some rust issues are you not yeah the rock taking a shit right it's Canada yeah we're in Canada, and actually for these trucks, that's that's bizarre. That that that's the only place you're having trouble. Um, so what's what's he got going on over here? Well, this truck is a factory 5.7 liter Vortec, first year of the Vortec, I believe, and uh, it's got a 4L60 transmission behind it, and this engine is is pooched. Uh, he's got a different truck now. Obviously, he doesn't drive this every day, and uh, this is going to be his new his new project truck. So, what's he got going on over here? Well, he's got this beauty to drop back into it. Uh, this is a 2001 6.0, um, 317 head. It's been uh, gone over. He took everything apart and uh, he re-honed it and re-ringed it and cleaned everything up and now she's ready to drop back in. As you can see, it's legit six liter. So that's going to be the upgrade. Um, he's got a Summit cam in there, so we'll have a nice little bump to it. And the plan for this is boost, I believe. Lots and lots of boost. So that'll be quite the upgrade for the for the heavy Chevy. Now all that's left to do is take the old one out and put the new one in, and that's what he's doing right now. So drain the coolant, take the wiring off. Away we go, right? Pretty much. Yes, that's all it dripped out of there. Out of the back of the head. But it was just, I got a pool in the ground and I was like, okay, what? Oh, there's nothing there. Well, I left it overnight, so I was like, I don't know if it's gonna like start bleeding on me. Yeah. Cool, coolant drain. Coolant is done. Although you can guarantee that as soon as we disturb this, there's gonna be more coolant yes. coming out of there. Yeah, that's just kind of a given. Well, there you go. Get a power drill in Man, it. that's <laughs> actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Should try that. Get a power drill. Here we go, folks. This is this is innovation at its finest. Oh yeah, check this out. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Engine's empty. Oh lord. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> no. I feel like that wasn't a good sound. Well, I think that water pump's toast. Okay, <laughs> if you happen to have one of these, what you're going to find out is that to get the intake off, yeah. this has to come forward. Oh, oh we, have, we have help. Uh, you're on YouTube now. YouTube this, eh? yeah. <laughs> and now, demonetized. Now, now I gotta, now I gotta blur that. <laughs> There's you're a doing bolt. this completely wrong. You just cut wires and start. <laughs> yeah. no, no, shit. This has to be done right correctly. <laughs> you're watching correct. too many sloppy mechanics there. <laughs> hey, first things first. Why isn't the hood off? Um, uh, because yesterday I didn't have any hands. Well, let's take that off so we're not working in here in the dark. Yeah, right now. Alrighty, let's take the hood off. My right one's easy. <laughs> my right one's <laughs> giving her. <laughs> yep. Put off. Oh man, there's so much more light. Yeah, that's better. Okay. That to take off the trans harness has to come off, which is three plugs. Three plugs. And that is fish like this goes to the trans. That's all gonna come up and out. Yeah. Well, and the O2 sensors are back there. Those one, the O2 sensor wires, if they won't unclip. 
because those are not being reused. And then we'll just pull the harness out. And then the harness should be mostly free except for the starter wire. And then I'm just gonna flop it over here and I'll worry about it later. You guys did disconnect the hook. Okay, um, Coolant is out. We're just gonna work on the power steering here. All right, well, we're gonna get some work done here. And uh, enjoy this, enjoy this, uh, what do you call it? Time lapse. Time lapse, yeah. Here you go. All right, guys, uh, we got the engine out finally. Uh, wasn't too, too bad. The old 5.7 uh, Vortex days are, are over. So, we're just cleaning it up now. Because we are done for the day. Engine bay is nice and, nice and cleared out. So out with the old and uh, in with the new. Can't wait to see this six liter go in there. It's gonna be pretty badass. Everything's ready to rock. He's uh, He's got his motor mount um, adapters on there. He uh, just has to put his spacer on the back that uh, uh, for fitting his new bell housing and stuff. So that's gotta go on there. Um, other than that, it's gonna be ready to drop in. But it's 9.30 at night and it's a Sunday and we gotta go to work tomorrow because this isn't our work, so. Um, that's gonna be it for part one. Make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned because there's gonna be a part two coming up fairly soon. Um, either I'm gonna be here to watch the engine go in or he's gonna do it himself with his buddies or whatever because we have two different schedules so we'll see. But anyway there's gonna be a uh, part two after it goes in there and uh, we'll give you guys an update and uh, we'll give you guys an update with the there's some C10 updates going on and uh, my car's got some shit coming up and there's gonna be there's gonna be a pretty cool car coming up right away in uh, a new video so uh, yeah stay tuned like and subscribe see you next time <laughs>